Monday. I wore my Haunted Mansion dress again for you. So I also have my Haunted Mansion mug. <laughs> oh, I've even got Haunted Mansion scrunchie today. It's halfway to Halloween. Well, it was a couple days ago. So I'm, I'm taking that as a reason that it's perfectly acceptable as if it is not perfectly acceptable to celebrate the Haunted Mansion every day of the year. It is in my house. I hope that you're having a good day. I really do. And that you had a good weekend. And today we're going to use one of the papers that we haven't cut into yet. This one, which is a lovely cloud background from Maggie Holmes. Um, which collection is this from? Parasol collection. I love a cloud paper. And we're going to use something from the spring edition of Scar Scarp. <laughs> Hi, I've been a scarf booker for almost 25 years. Scrapbook and cards today. <laughs> I don't know why I do this. Why do I do this to myself or to you? Anyway, inside the spring edition, which looks like this, bing, it's beautiful and you can get it free with your order from scrapbook.com. Or if you stop at a scrapbook store that's actually existing in real life, they probably have it too. They don't pay me to say this, I just like it. Um, anyway, in the extra extra section at the beginning, you get the sketch for the next oh. <laughs> for the next issue. And it's a, it's a, um, a starburst. So I'm going to use something to make a starburst design on this. Yes, um, because when I look at a starburst design, I quite often think that it needs to be different pattern papers, different colors, but what I want to do is take it back to something way more subtle and to use vellum as a starburst on top of the clouds. With that, I'm going to put some Peter Pan pictures. And I hope you're game for that, all right? Also, I encourage you, if you make your own version of the layout from the sketch that's there, send it in because they publish them and, and share them in other ways and all sorts of things like that. It's really good fun as long as you make layouts that are for you that you want to have in your book and then send them in, on the, like email them in on the off chance that they might be right for an editorial piece and they get picked up. That is 100% the best way to go about the whole being published thing. Oh, I have a swarm of wasps at my, okay, they've gone away. There were a swarm of wasps, like six of them. It's a, a miniature swarm. Just all arrived at my window at the same time, hit the glass and then backed off. <laughs> Suddenly thought we were being invaded. It's fine, window's closed. Anyway, I would say, if you ever want to be published as a scrapbooker, if that's one of those things that's like on a mental list or maybe even not a mental list, maybe you've written it down someday that one of your goals is to have a layout published in a magazine. I 100% say go with the attitude of making things that will bring you joy and happiness in your own album and then email them in and forget about it because then a little bonus if you get a call to say, hey, we'd really like to publish this. Um, don't do stuff just on the hope of being published so that then if it's not picked, you get crushed. I've been on all elements of this scenario. I've been in every role. I've edited. I've been a staff member, I've been somebody who's making things for the calls and contributing, and I've been both happy and heartbroken. I'm happy to explain any part of the process. I've not worked on, um, uh, on this particular magazine. I've had just one page published in here over the years, but to be fair, I think I've submitted like two or three in total, so um, yeah. Um, I should probably, you know, sometimes send things in because I'm telling you to, so I should do as I say. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, if you ever have any questions about the whole life of, um, of doing stuff for publication, we can talk about that. All right, that's enough of my face for now. Let's get to the desk and let's see who's here. We got people here? Yes. Um, uh, Alana was worried that Monday Jamel wasn't going to be there. Oh, because you're doing Week in the Life. Oh, I'm really honored to appear in people's Week in the Lives. That would be great. Um, no, I was a little iffy um, because the adhesive Avengers allergies have kicked in. The pollen count is high. Everything's in bloom, which is beautiful. Um, but he's been sneezing nonstop, and I wasn't sure 
if I could concentrate enough to do a live. <laughs> but I think we're good. Um, so there we go. Gemma says, do they expect you to send in the actual real layout? Yes, they do, but you get it back. Um, yeah, so that, that is part of it because everything in here is photographed under the same conditions so that it all looks just perfect. Um, and they even sometimes will have you send in the digital file of the photo to make sure that that looks as crisp as possible too. Um, uh, in case when they photograph it, it's, um, it's not ending up as clear in the final thing. Yeah, okay. So I want that sketch and um, let's have a little zoom in on it. And remember, um, their new sketch artist is Allison. Um, who we talked about, you can tag her on Instagram when you use her sketches. So remember we used this one? Da 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 da! And you can see the one they picked. That's Andrea Lake's layout, but then there's also a couple elsewhere from the same sketch in the reader submissions. Where is it? Not that section. Sorry, I should have put little paper bookmarks on here, post-it notes. I didn't think about that. Sorry. Okay, so there's this take on it, which is more like solid triangles rather than pieced together and leaves gaps nice and clean. That's Delphine McConduit. I'm going to go with that. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Um, and then this card version by Anushri Vaish. That's probably wrong too, but it's okay. I love your work. Um, so you can see different versions here. This is also a layout with triangles, although um, different. That one's by Lori Scott. Okay, um, so right, you can tag Allison Davis on Instagram and you can follow her if you, and also she's not telling me to do this. I just like her work and I think it's cool. Okay, so that's the sketch. If you want a screen recap today, but it's also, on the Scrapbook and Cards website, scrapbookandcards.com, and you can see that URL there, slash current dash call, gives you all the things they're looking for, looking for and the deadline. Ooh, I didn't even think about that. Are we already past the deadline? Let's have a look. When's the deadline for this issue? Scrapbook and Cards, current call, and it is, are we still in? Are we still in? What's the deadline? Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> oh, we're well past this one. This was April 9th. Okay, so we're just doing this one for fun and then tag Allison on Insta. Fair enough? Fair enough. Okay, where's my bubble with you? Okay. Okay, Teresa. Okay, hold on, Teresa. Let's figure you out. Two seconds, let's find you. Okay. Ah, okay. Ah, I see, okay, and I see why that would not have come through. I don't see why you didn't get a username, so I'm gonna resend that now, and then we're gonna scrapbook. Okay, hopefully I don't do anything wrong because I'm live. Hopefully I don't do anything wrong because I'm live. And good powers. No. Oh. Okay. I found the problem. Okay, I can't do this while we're live. But I found the problem, Teresa, and it's that you have multiple accounts. Okay, so I'm going to flag this here and come back to it. And I'm going to write myself a big note on the desk. Okay. Uh, right. Okay, and this right, I'm gonna do it right now, so I know it does not get lost. Teresa. Double accounts and, du and signed up on both. That's what's happened. Well, I mean, kind of. Okay. Here, so I see it right on the edge of my desk, but it's not 
screaming at you. I know, okay. So Sophia has seen the news. Did anybody else worry about my desk this morning in the news? Um, so Maleficent at Disneyland in Fantasmic caught on fire and is no more. <laughs> like it was a big fire. Um, and this is the second time that a Disney Maleficent dragon has caught on fire in recent times. So the parade version of Maleficent, who also breathes fire, caught on fire in Florida, um, but has been repaired and returned to the Festival of Fantasy Parade. Um, right. Even in case you don't know, my desk is called Maleficent. I commented on a Disney video about this news that my desk is named Maleficent and now I, now I am afraid that she might spontaneously combust. And people left comments saying, I might need to consult a priest. <laughs> oh no! Um, right, so anyway, hopefully my Maleficent will just stay lovely and happy and not catch on fire because she doesn't breathe fire, so it's good. But yeah, Mickey has a lot of power in Fantasmic and apparently he went a little bit over the top. Okay, so I've got these photos. Now the sketch uses three, um, a three by five, a two by five by three by five, two of those. Um, I've got four three by fours and a four by five. So we're gonna work with that um, and we're gonna work with this paper. Okay, and Festival of Fantasy I love. Also, I've never seen Magic Happens in person and I so want to. It debuted, that's the current afternoon Disneyland parade. It started two days after I last left Disneyland. <laughs> so um, here's my vellum. So we're gonna have some plenty of vellum. I can always come back to this and grab more. So that's my tablet of vellum. And I think at this point, I better do my advertising speech and then we and we start cutting stuff. Excellent. Hello, I'm Shamal. I teach online scrapbooking classes, design scrapbooking products, and help you use them to tell your stories in a creative way. It's not just my hobby, it is my job, and that means anytime I scrapbook on the internet, it's considered advertising illegally. I need to make sure you're aware of that. Are you aware of that? Thank you so much for watching my hashtag advertising. I really appreciate you being here, whether you're live, chatty, watch from the future, enjoy Tomorrowland, our quiet, I don't mind, scrapbook, don't scrapbook, take a class, don't take a class. It's all good, you're all welcome here. But in the, um, uh, the heading of hashtag advertising, in the link box, uh, the link box? In the description box below the video, you'll find links. Links that will take you to classes, at shamal.com and products at scrapbook.com. So all the products that you see me use here are, uh, I don't think I've linked vellum. You can search for vellum, it's okay. Um, but everything in the kit for this month and next month, um, that's all linked in the description box below and that takes you to scrapbook.com and when you use my affiliate link to shop at scrapbook.com, no matter what you buy, um, the price doesn't change for you, but they send me a commission that makes this possible because otherwise I gotta go do other kinds of work to keep my lights on. Cool, so thank you so much. Um, oh my goodness, AJ says they're bringing the electrical parade back to Walt Disney World. So the first time we went to Walt Disney World as a family with WB and everything, not like my childhood trips, but the first trip we went back, um, was for my birthday in 2016 because the electrical parade was glowing away on my birthday and I went to see it and cried happy tears with my tiny child in my lap seeing what I remembered from my own childhood. <laughs> so electrical parade, how I love thee. How much I miss paint the night. Also, that's in California, not in Florida. Um, but nighttime parades in general, yes. Just they're brilliant, bring them back. Nobody does them like Disney, so ah, I can't even like get a fix somewhere else. So when they take nighttime spectaculars away, I get moody and upset and gutted. So even if it is um, a parade that is as old as me, or maybe I'm just a little younger, I don't know, but about the same age as me, I'm okay with it. I'd rather have 
electrical parade than no nighttime parade. <sighs> Did I find out about my knee? I am in the waiting period now. So I'm one, pe one week and a bit past my MRI and the estimated wait time on me finding out the results of the MRI is three weeks. So I got two weeks to go. It's a race. Will we hear some news about WB and what he was doing that day? Or will we hear about my knee? Whichever comes first. We don't know. All right. So clouds. Hello, Leslie. You are indeed live. Kay says she has this issue, but she doesn't have the extra, extra page. It's page eight. Are you literally missing seven, eight, and then whatever the back of that signature is at the end? That would be wild. So it's letters from the editors on seven and then extra, extra on eight. So instead of doing all different colors here, I'm going to bring in the vellum, bring in the funk, and I got photos. So let's do some bend and snap. I don't want to jinx it, but it's really quiet in the house right now. Something, something good may have happened. Don't know. Okay. Yes, Sarah says she loves a good cloud paper almost as much as she loves a good wood grain, I do too. And Kay does have that page in her magazine. It was stuck together with coffee. Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay, so I know I'm definitely using this big one. And then we'll see what we're gonna do with the little ones. If I'm gonna put them all on here or I might put two of them on here and two on a six by 12 next to it. Oh, Sarah's got to go teach stuff now. Darn children needing to learn things. What is that about? Okay. So I definitely want that one. I definitely want this one with the name of the park. I could make a 6x12 with separate journaling because I've kind of got two stories here. Um, so I haven't included yet the story about this park and how we found it, which I did tell the story of one day, I'm pretty sure. Um, but also there's this slightly side story that of all days in the Disney Bound Challenge that we dressed up together, the day that we were featured on the actual Disney Bound account, we were not featured. He was featured. <laughs> and he giggled so much because he looked and then he said, Look, mommy, I'm better if I'm just on my own. Like in a really jokey way, it was totally acceptable. And um, he was like, see, you're just, you're just pulling the side down. And it was really jokey and really funny. Um, but then the same day, surprisingly, and quite out of the blue, a different photo of the two of us got picked up by Snag, the tights company. Um, and so I then brought that one over to him later in the day. And I went, look, 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 look. I'm not bringing this side down. It's okay. Like we're both in and it was really funny. So maybe I put that story on a six by 12 next to it with these photos or something. So I'm going to keep these out on the desk, but they might go over here. Okay. Um, ah, Kirsty says, she used to use clouds in her albums to symbolize her dad's Alzheimer's, but now that he's passed away, I find them hard to use. I think that's really under, an understand, understandable feeling, um, Kirsty. and please don't feel like you have to use them. If they mean something to you that is that doesn't fit the meaning of other things, embrace that. It's okay. And you could use this same sketch with something else, and if me using clouds makes you feel a bit icky, don't watch today. That's okay. You're not going to break my heart, and I don't want to break yours. Okay, so, um, right, 
First of all, there's a circle down here in this corner. Second of all, it's vellum and I'm going to scare you. Only because I know that some of you don't like it when I tear stuff. And guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to tear the vellum. So I'm going to clip it, if I've still got my paper clips here. What I want is a torn edge that is close but not quite. So I don't want these two edges perfectly lined up. I want them close, but no cigar. That's what I want. And honestly, I don't like cigars, so that's a great phrase for me. <laughs> um, I don't understand how anyone can. Please con uh, explain this scenario someday as to how anything that stinks like that could be nice to anyone. <laughs> okay, <laughs> moving right along. Subject you didn't expect me to cover. Um, so see how, can you see? Let's see. How many times can I say the word see? That's not where we need to be. There. Okay. So not perfectly lined. Yes? A little offset. Not a lot, just a little. Because then the torn edge um, will, um, will end up just slightly off but not, I, like I don't have to try and recreate it with a second tear. Now, can I tear a curve that's kind of like the center of a sunshine? I got no idea. So we're gonna just try. That's kind of a bit more angular, a bit less round. It's a bit smaller than I was hoping for, but I think it's going to be all right. Right. Mary says she thinks she broke her selfie. She was going to troubleshoot. Then her husband got sick, and of course, so did she. Um, feeling better today. Still in isolation till Sunday on the bright side. Her plants are thriving. Oh, Mary. Get better, my dear. Okay. So this is going to be the center of that, and see, this is what I was hoping for. Can we see this? So everything now, when I line it up in this corner, will be just a little bit offset in the other spots. So I feel like that's the easiest way to do that, but could it have been maybe a little bigger and rounder? Yeah, that's all right. Okay, for now, I'm going to clip this on because I'm not quite sure where the adhesive is going to need to go just yet. Okay. So we're just going to clip all this in place and we'll do adhesive later. Okay, then, see it's, it's bigger and more circular in the sketch. Okay. Title underneath the photos, little trio of embellishments, small, medium, large. This one's large, this one's medium, this one's small. Drilling space above the middle photo and all of these. So I think I'm gonna work on this bit first so that I can then plunk it over the top and adhere these strips underneath. So we've got big photo. Middle photo, middle photo. <laughs> Crystal has done a cloud background paper the one time she did it in my life. <laughs> we're all, we're all cool with clouds. Okay, so I want to put these on a paper block. Do you, I, I have lime green. What else have I got in here? I have these two strips of green we're gonna totally bring in here. Our 
Asina fixed her selfie. She Googled for a YouTube video that shows how to fix it if it keeps saying out of ink. It looked like a scary fix, but it worked. Did you have to take things out of the inside? Um, when I was trying to fix my last one before I declared it not fixable because it was well out of warranty, um, I had like a can of air taking out everything on the inside. Um, and that was a bit wild. Okay, there's, I mean, that's a brand name strip. It has green, but I've used the rest of the paper. Okay, I have more of that lime green. All right, so in other words, I don't have a lot of green left here. <laughs> it's okay. I've got this butterfly paper that I haven't used yet. I think what I'm going to do is individual mats in the lime green and then a big block of this. And this is going to come in here somehow. Okay. This is not wide enough for these, is it? No, it is not. And this one's going to go this way. Can I put both of these on here? Yeah, that looks okay. All right, cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> she did have to dismantle it, but the YouTube video showed it step by step. And if it's out of warranty, I kind of feel like following a YouTube video on the off chance that it might work, as long as you're not having to buy like expensive supplies to do whatever they're suggesting, it's worth a shot, right? Because if it's past the warranty, you're not going to get it fixed by Canon anyway. Um, and so might as well give it the, the DIY try, and then if it doesn't work and you have to buy a new one, you're, you're not really in a different position than when you had one sitting there that wasn't working. You couldn't get it fixed. Ah, Mary dropped her cord. Um, on the concrete floor. She can print connected, but not from the Wi-Fi. Did the whole machine fall on the floor or just like the, the brick in the power, um, in the power cable, the adapter? Um, I oddly dropped one and it fixed it one time and that was weird. It had been kind of iffy for a while, and then I accidentally knocked it off a shelf, and it worked better than it had ever worked before. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> and I know my wood grain is going in two different directions, but I think it's going to be all right. Then I'll have these little scraps of wood grain for that six by 12 page, I guess. I don't have another of these cloud sheets though, so it'll be on a different background. Okay. The power brick, okay. Yeah, so you might have a similar power cable-y kind of thing somewhere on some other device. It's worth a look when you're feeling better. Um, to see if you've got the same, same setup elsewhere. Okay, so if I layer these big and they're kind of like that, oh, that, okay. So, I mean, this is, this is feeling a little weird lately because I haven't done angles. But I'm going to do angles. And it's kind of like this. So it sits like that. All right. And then I want a big box behind that. I'm going to do it like this. And I'm going to cut a whole big box. So i use the trimmer because this butterfly paper has got nothing for me to eyeball for my straight line. Mm 
Mary loves the vellum. Yay, vellum is wonderful. Hello, Martha. Okay, so something like this is happening. And we're gonna have a title down here. We're gonna have a journaling piece up here. All right, let's find that journaling piece. Where it's going to be. So we've got stickers. And I've got these journaling cards. Oh, and lots of labels, because I've got that label cut apart. Okay. Where is the label cut apart? That's a very good question. I know I used a big piece of it, but I didn't use all of it. Oh, here it is. It's just the other side. Okay, so I have all of these different options for things to write on, so let's have a look. So, this one's coming in straight away because it's green, and I don't have a lot of green options, so I wanna bring in all the shades of green that I can. Does a selfie need Wi-Fi to print? Nope, you can do it with a cable. Elaine says, yeah, if your power brick is gone, you might be able to just get a new power supply and cable instead of replacing the whole device. I think you're right there. Okay. So something like that. And definitely there's two shades of green on this. They've both got birds. Um, but we have both of those. I'm going to be finding these little navy blue triangles for years because I didn't do something sensible that some of you would have done, like cut them into a little bowl all month. No, I did not. Just cut them on my desk. Book. Hello, Duffy in Perth. Must be late for you. We're in the middle of the night for you. Okay. Greens. I like this one too. Green. Do, 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 do. This green. Can you print smaller than a four by six on the selfie? Yeah, these are printed on the selfie. So there's a selfie app feature called N Up, and it lets you turn your four by six canvas into a grid and do it right there in the app. Or 
You can use any other photo collage um, app or the print feature if you're printing from your computer and want to use something like Apple Photos or something similar and um, to put however many photos you want on the canvas and essentially just treat it like you would print things on a normal printer, but your paper size is four by six to start with. Yeah, hello Sarah. Right. Um, I kind of like this one. It's the same green. Yeah. So we got shades of green here. And here. Who knew I had all this green hiding in here? Not I. Yes, Sophia is correct. The selfie 4x6 is not exactly a 4x6. Okay. So, I haven't been inking things. Does that mean I'm not going to ink anything? <laughs> this one, uninked, is making me a little nervous. Maybe this is the only thing that I need to pull apart to ink. I think I'm going to. In brown. You could totally leave this step off, it's okay. But if you have the same problem in your head as I do, you'll be looking at it all going, why didn't I ink that? So now I'm gonna stop at this point and ink that. Do the stickers as I go. Uh, Belinda, you can use um, the Project Life app if you use that one already. That lets you divide the canvas for pocket pages. You can do that. And it has a few different options. Is that about where that was? I don't know. And then I think I can put something else here and have this one because otherwise this is all going to get covered up. So let's have it over here. Happy Monday! <laughs> Jolene now inks the edges of everything, but she doesn't do the gold mist yet. <laughs> like degrees of following along. <laughs> Okay, so this is starting to get to a point where I need to be able to stick it down, I think. Yeah. But 
you know what would be more fun than just sticking it down? <laughs> Let's pop it up with Papio's drips. OWB at the weekend was making up a new Papio jingle. It's like, I think your Papio jingle is, is, is had its day. It needs, you need a new one. Um, so on the bus, he was writing a new Papio jingle. Can I remember it now? I might have to get him to record it. <laughs> okay, okay. So then all of this is going to go onto that butterfly block. So if that was sitting about here, this could go about there. And then we'll put the title down here. Okay, so there's gonna be more here. This is still not stuck because I'm gonna put the sunbeam starburst pieces behind there. And ba -ba 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 -bum. these. Kind of just want to put this kind of down here. Kind of like that. Oh, yay, Pam! Brilliant. And you'll have more to watch there very, very shortly. I was doing some um, hooking up people who were having trouble accessing stuff this morning. And I've obviously got Teresa's <laughs> here. Um, and then tomorrow is to get everything else uploaded there for you. So, so I think, I think I'm pretty much nearing the end of the list of people who are like, mm, I'm having trouble figuring this out. Um, and it's all, it's all fine. But I get, I, like I get people who are like, I had an account and now I don't remember what to do with it. And then look and it'll be like you've had an account and the last time that you logged into it was 11 years ago so that'll be why you don't remember how but it's okay i'll walk you through it we'll get you there it's not a problem but yeah i'm really happy to hear that you're finding it useful and using what you buy as a result because that's brilliant okay so i think this gap is going to have some of these stickers but i think i better get those pieces in here because that stuff's gonna be sticky. And if I don't have my um, vellum pieces in place, I'm gonna end up with a big mess there. And I have learned that I'm not very good at peeling these back up. So if I can avoid peeling them back up would be great. Okay, drinking Haunted Mansion coffee. Let's do some Starburst. It's fine. What could go wrong? Okay. So the longest piece is there. That's going to be fine. So I'm going to tear all the vellum. And I might need to go get more. That's okay. I have a whole tab. So if I start with this up here, yes, that's going to be just fine. So that one and then this one just offset so that then I've got this lovely texture I can still through two layers see the design of the pattern paper and up here I'm just going to fold yeah. and I fold both sides oh, oh, I just totally yes don't do that we'll deal with it in a minute Um, right, so that's both stuck. Now, can I do this side with a nice clean fold? Yeah. All right, 
so yeah, I did that. We're gonna, it's not gonna matter. We're gonna cover it up. So now that I've done the corner up there, I've got a little bit of bubbling, so that's why I'm peeling this up. Just bring it down again. Okay. <laughs> Is Amy here or watching on the replay? She'll be watching from behind her fingers. I know, I know. I'm just... I'm terribly cruel. Yeah, like that, I think. And then up here. Didn't exactly. I feel like I should be doing the folding first, but I'm not sure I'll ever get a good edge if I don't have it stuck. So I don't know. This just works. Pick it up, put it down, pick it up, put it down. Okay. I know at this point you're like, oh, it looks a bit of a messiness, but look, it won't. It looks nice and crisp as crisp as torn edges can look. Okay, so I need one more kinda here. I think I could just do that with this edge that's already here. Okay, so let's go ahead and try <laughs> to do the folded edge first. Now, where do I want that to go? Kind of there? What are you doing, Schmelf? What are you doing? Is that gonna be right? No, it's really not. More like that. No, see, I need to stick it first and then fold. Now, with this big piece to this side, I think maybe I just cut it. I can fold it. Oh, easier than I thought. Mary says when she first started scrapbooking, there was a vellum adhesive that you could use and it wouldn't show through. Yeah, I used one of those that over time has not kept that quality. You can definitely see it now. Um, and I just feel like this sort of hide the adhesive kind of works better for me. Look, it's also going to hide quite a lot of what I messed up there. Okay, now over to here and I need more vellum. to come kind of there. That might 
might be the last one. But it's going to show down here. So I think what I'm going to do is have it have a gap like that. Yeah, I think that's the last one. So the adhesive needs to go this top edge. Oh, while I'm just folding and gluing. So a couple, maybe a week or two ago, we talked about, I was trying to find out from somebody who'd been um, what the deal was with this new version of Oklahoma that's playing in the West End at the moment and whether or not it would be WB appropriate given in mind, give, keeping in mind that um, he has certainly seen and understood and not had any problem with things that are a little bit over his age. I mean, he knows Les Mis really well. <laughs> um, <laughs> and um, he knows Hamilton. He knows six. <laughs> and so knowing that sometimes the recommended ages in, um, in theater listings online would make, perhaps not be the most useful thing, um, I should look somewhere else. Right. <laughs> and Cassie, wise theater goer that she is. And darling friend who's probably shocked that my child knows all the words to those songs and yet not at all shocked at all um she said have you watched mickey joe's youtube review of oklahoma and i had not does anybody know who mickey joe is so mickey joe is a youtuber who's also a print theater critic that ha ha and he has a, a youtube channel um, he's recently done a Broadway trip, so he did some New York reviews as well. Um, anyway, <laughs> I did not realize, I knew that this new version of Oklahoma was more like a modern take. But also, it doesn't change a word of the script or the lyrics. So I was like, well, how... How inappropriate can it get if you're already aware of there's this weirdness in Oklahoma, if you haven't seen it, that basically there's two guys vying for the attention of one girl and the quote unquote nicer of the two guys has a discussion with the less nice version where um, he suggests that maybe this situation could be dealt with if that other guy ended himself. It's not a kind situation and makes it really weird that this is done as a school musical, including in my school. <laughs> um, but if I could prepare, like mentally I can prepare for that and parentally I can prepare for that. I can put that all in context. Um, Connie wanted to know what vellum paper pad. This is the Kelly Creates tracing paper pad. Kelly Creates is a line from American Crafts. It's about learning how to letter. Um, but I use it as the vellum on most of my layouts, but it is not 12 by 12. So if that bothers you, there you go. You can just buy single sheets of 12 by 12 vellum, um, if that's better for you. Anyway, 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 I went and I listened, or I watched, listened, whatever, to Mickey Joe's review. It's not child appropriate. <laughs> it's really not child appropriate. Um, from what the, what I'm picking up, basically, they have kept the script intact. They have not changed the words. They have done daring things with the staging, including keeping the house lights on, which apparently is really weird, considering it's set in it's playing in like a like an old West End theater. I think yes, that would be weird. I'm sticking this straight to the background, so that's why I'm just trying to see where I am. Um. But um, <laughs> they've, without changing any of the words, managed to change a bunch of the relationships of the characters. How, like, I, so now I really want to see it to kind of figure out how this works, but I don't think I can take WB. That's the short version. 
it sounds so bizarre, and a lot of people have described the ending like a horror movie. And I was in this show in high school. It was weird, but not a horror movie. So I'm very curious, but I can't take WB because apparently it's bloody and too racy. <laughs> so there you go. There's the update. And it's on Mickey Joe's YouTube. <laughs> um, see you later, Sarah. Julia is remembering her daughter when she was nine or ten, loving Les Mis, and, <laughs> and Julia was slightly shocked at her singing lovely ladies at the top of her voice in the shower. Yes, we have that in this house too. <laughs> and WB and his um, performing arts friend, who would also love to play Gavroche one day, um, having a, a um, conversation about what the lovely ladies, what their role is in the show. And they are adorable in that they have not figured out the whole thing, but they have figured out the important part, in my opinion, because they realized the women are getting paid a little bit of money by very rich men who have lots more money, and the very rich men are very mean to them. And I'm like, I think that's really all you need to know. <laughs> that part is accurate. <laughs> so that's right. That's fine. It's the nine-year-old version of lovely ladies. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah. <laughs> These are the important things. Um, right. How many tabs can I put on these photos? Why not? Why not? Now, I did have in the sketch large, medium, small embellishments, and that's clearly not happening. But it's okay. Oh, this is still not stuck, so I need to be careful about that. And I need something else to come in here. What have I got here? I've got phrases and one more label there. I need something here. I need a title. We're good. How are we doing for time? 42 minutes. <laughs> Of course, has blessed the innocence of children. <laughs> Please just keep it, keep that in your brain forever. That the men are not nice and they don't pay them enough for what they're doing. Sounds accurate. Um, right. Dun 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 dun. Sticking that down. There's a oh oh. Hold on. Haven't stuck this. Still have paper clips on it. <laughs> Let's sort that out. <laughs> okay, what if I just leave one paper clip here? Run some adhesive underneath here. And then the second layer. I think we're good. One of the reasons I like that particular vellum slash tracing paper, whatever it is, um, is it's really lightweight, so it adheres really easily. I've used some thick vellums in the past where the adhesive doesn't want to stick to it, or it sticks to it for like two days and then it doesn't stick anymore, and you're like, what, what was the point of that? Um, this sticks just fine. Okay, title. What do you call this when it already says Peter Pan's Park here? Um, and you've done so many Peter Pan layouts over the years that um, oh, Catherine has seen it in San Francisco and the ending is bloody. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and by the way, in case you, uh, here's an added bit. If you have watched Doctor Who, in the British staging of this in the West End, Curly is played by, um, oh, why is his name just gone from my head? It was there and I stopped to remember Curly's name and now he's gone. Amy's husband in Doctor Who. What's he called? Oh my goodness. Um, oh, I like that, Elaine. Flying High as a title here. Let's do that. Um, Rory. There we go. I got it. Somebody here has probably already put it in the comments before it came into my head, but I'm, I'm proud that I got there. Rory from Doctor Who is... Um, Is playing Curly in the West End and apparently very good and apparently can um, play the guitar 
and has a beautiful singing voice. I've not seen him in a musical. I don't think I've seen him in anything live unless it was before he was in Doctor Who. <laughs> um, but by all accounts, he's done quite a lot of theater. So I may have seen him back in the day and not realized it. Right, what color wording are we gonna use here? So I've got these and I've got the yellow one in here so far, which might work. I've done a layout called Finding Neverland before. Um, and it is, I, I know it's really relevant to this, but I used it with another Peter Pan park. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I used it with the Princess Diana um, uh, memorial. Yeah. Yes. Oh, Kat's pointing out I'm not actually using the actor's name. I'm just calling him Rory now. Arthur Darvill. Sorry. Apologies <laughs> to Mr. Darvill <laughs> that... Rory is just stuck in my head as a lovely core memory. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love Amy and Rory's plot line so much. So much. It's not an insult. It's a compliment. Okay. So, um, flying high. Can I spell that? H I G H. Oh, have I got, oh, and I've got two I's. Okay. F L Y. I N. Oh, I don't have any more G's. Okay. Um. <laughs> Hello, Carrie. Ah, cloud paper stump, Carrie. So here, this what we're doing is this sketch from the spring issue of Scrapbook and Cards today. And you might, I think I would normally look at that and think that the starburst should all be different strips of patterned paper or different colors, but instead we're doing it all as vellum. Also, you will notice now I have done far fewer strips and I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm, I feel like I might need to put a little bit down here because this gap is bigger than any of these, isn't it? So I might need a little corner piece down here, but I could do that, that's all right. Okay, um, I'm gonna do the flying and yellow and then I need something else for the high. Speaking of Peter Pan, you know it was announced today. The Christmas Palladium Panto and they're doing Peter Pan. And they basically kept the same leading cast but swapped French for Saunders. So still Julian Clary, Gary Wilmot, Nigel Havers, um, uh, Rob Madge is back, yay. Um, but then instead of Don French, we've got um, Jennifer Saunders playing Captain Hook. Oh, why did I start writing Finding? I, I already said I've titled the layout that so I don't want to use it again and then I started writing it again. Um, I have two G's, but I would need three. Oh, no, I wouldn't. Why am I thinking I need three? Okay, you're right. Sorry. Jen, you have made it before the end. By the way, I know I'm, I'm still hanging on to that answer for you, Jen, but I am getting somewhere, I think. Okay. Um... Okay. Um, yeah, so they're going to do Peter Pan at the Palladium. And we also had the exciting news that, so we have a theater that we pass on the bus on the way to classes every time that's not a West End theater, other direction. So we're going out. Um, uh, we're going out of town rather than into town. And that is the Catford Broadway Theater. And the Cafe Broadway Theater was where WB was supposed to do Wizard of Oz all the way back in the day before lockdown as a teeny tiny child when he was going to be um, a munchkin. And he ended up doing this after lockdown, but we had to go further away because um, the uh, theater was scheduled to have a massive renovation anyway. And so when all theaters had to close, they brought forward the renovation and thought, well, let's get started on it now. But it was a huge job. And I'm guessing they probably suffered from a big lack of funding since they couldn't have any shows going and things like that. And, you know, 
all the cuts that have happened, all of these different things. So um, it is reopened now and they've just done their first couple performances of things and they've announced that they are going to do a panto this year and they're going to do Jack and the Beanstalk. Um, so it's exciting. But yeah, um, I know the Americans here will be like, um, <laughs> the only time I hear about panto is on Shamel's lives. <laughs> but I'm here to, I'm here to help. I'm giving you classy information in, in culture, British panto, um, but it's good fun. So there we go. They're going to do one and that's exciting. I haven't looked to see what our closest theater is actually the Greenwich theater and they always do one. We have seen Cinderella there where they set Cinderella at the observatory in Greenwich, which was highly amusing. Um, so like the whole story it ended up revolving around Newton and other things that happened at the observatory, which is quite funny. Um, but we'll see what they do as well. Yay. Oh, no, we won't. Oh, yes, we will. Okay. Jen's going to watch the whole thing in Tomorrowland. It will be there for you. So I need a group of embellishments over here. I need something to work in this gap. And then I need a tiny bit of embellishment that I'm going to take right over the edge over here. Partly because it's on the sketch and partly because I dropped ink on it. Gory wants to come back to London at Christmas and watch lots of slightly dubious theater. Why not? I mean, <laughs> I feel like, well, but I know that some people don't understand because in watching WB in the show and sitting in all different places, one time I sat in literally the next to last row of the entire theater which is a lot of seats. <laughs> and the family next to me were tourists um, who barely spoke English and had no idea where they were. And they'd been shopping on Regent Street and came into the theater with all their big giant shopping bags. And they're sitting in the cheap seats, so you don't have any leg room. And so they've got all this baggage and they sit down and they just have no idea what is going on. And the grandmother of the lot at one point gets out her phone and starts messaging somebody on Facebook. And part of me was like, I bet she is messaging somebody saying, they've taken me, th they've taken me to the theater. I have no idea what's going on. The audience is terribly behaved and keeps shouting back at the people on stage. Everyone is laughing all the time. Everybody's dressed completely bonkers. What are we doing? Um, but I don't know what she was saying, really. And I wasn't going to read her phone. <laughs> But it was wild. <laughs> okay, I've got this one that's the same as that. So I'm going to bring this down here. And I haven't forgotten. I've got these. It was very funny to sit in different seats. And in fact, sometimes not sit at all. Because a couple of performances, I had a standing ticket. <laughs> and I just stood up for a show that's almost three hours long. Um... Yeah, it was fine. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. No, here. Put it down there. Okay. Uh, yes, Panto for the uninitiated is a huge culture shock, says Sophia. <laughs> and Corey says it sounds perfectly marvelous in all the theater ways. Yeah, as long as you don't think you're going to get anything serious or well-behaved or politically correct. None of it. None of that is happening. Um, yeah. People are going to shout. It's going to be fine. But you are going to see amazing costumes, probably amazing scenery. It's all good. Layering these greens. I need something here that's like not a circle, not a label. What could I pick from one of these? They're all indoor things. I know, I chose them. What am I like? A globe? Oh, I could do books! It's Peter Pan! I can do books! Okay. Oh, and it's almost time to go. All right. Okay. Sorry, Amy. I want it in two places, so I'm going to put one stack of books at the top and one stack of books at the bottom. This one's going to come back here. This one's 
put my enamel dots. That's a good point. I'm going to bring an extra label behind here to make this a little heavier. Oh, really? Somebody just set off a bunch of car alarms by riding their bike along the road and tapping every car as they went. Brilliant. Oh! Behind the house? Oh. Adhesive Adventure says, yesterday I missed the actual action that there was an actual car accident on the street behind us. I did not know this. I'm not sure I'm 100% happy with that placement, but that sort of thing. Okay, so let me walk you through what's going to happen between here and me finishing this because I got to go pick up a child from school because apparently he doesn't like it if I just leave him there. He likes me to come pick him up at the end of the day. It's shocking and demanding and I don't know what that's about. Number one, if you enjoy this, you can thumbs up now while I'm explaining the rest. That'd be super duper awesome. Okay, so I think there's going to be a little bit more embellishment here maybe in terms of different pieces and definitely here. I'm not happy with this gathering just yet. There's going to be one or two stickers over here. And then um, there's going to be some journaling here, but also in like maybe here, 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 but I'm going to put some bits down here as well. Um, and then I'm going to gold mist and enamel dot, all of that. Then six by 12, probably over there. And that would be in with the March extras when I get there. Okay. Um, I think that's everything. Thank you so much for joining me. We have one more um, regularly scheduled live stream of April. That's this Friday because the next week we're Monday and next Monday is a bank holiday and there are three Monday bank holidays in May. So sometime between today and Friday, I'm going to try and figure out what is my strategy for those three days so that I am not doing normal work all three bank holidays. Um, so I'll have a little family chat and come up with a plan and let you know how the schedule may or may not change for um, May. But the kit will still go live on Monday the 1st um, and I will give you an update on fr this Friday with what I think the schedule will be. I'll put it on Instagram as well. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed it and you would give it a thumbs up, that'd be super duper awesome. If you did, here's your big extra heart. And here, I'll give it to you this way too. Thank you. All right. Have a great week. I'll see you on Friday. Bye-bye.